Hello everyone, myself Ron Singh and welcome back to my channel. So previously we covered platform independency and classes and also main method. So today we'll see variable declaration and comments. But before that we'll just have a quick recap. Yeah. So in our very first video we saw the process, right? Means the source code to the byte code and to then the results, right? yes so after this we saw the classes classes are nothing but just a container in which give, we give the state that is we give the content of that but after that we again saw the main method so what are the main methods the program starts the execution with the main method right so whatever command we give inside the main method will get executed line by line right so today we'll see what are variables okay so by the name itself you can suggest that variable means it may vary right so it can change so variable are nothing but like if you declare some variable for example a variable a b ball dog or any such and you want to give them some values and uh, you may think like the values can vary right so at this time we can give the way means declare a variable okay so we'll see how do we declare a variable yeah so let's move with the slides first then we'll see yeah so over here variable declaration first we'll see how do we declare a variable and there are a lot more stuff inside this okay so first the basic syntax we give the type of the variable then the name of the variable then literal or expressions okay so for now we'll cover what are literals and expression so literal means nothing but with the name itself you can suggest that literal means literally some value right so literal are like raw data for example you are defining something like uh, maybe a variable over here i have also gave the example int x is equals to 5 so over here you just directly give this value right 5 the 5 is a raw data means it is the literal means exact value it has not been referenced to anyone it is the direct value right so literal this is a literal means the we are giving the values directly okay we are not referencing it to anyone expression means the example of expression is this int y is equals to x over here y is referencing the value of x right so y is equals to x means int y is equals to x this is indirect right means whenever the value of x will change the value of y will depend upon it so it is expression it is expression means it is not getting the value of means not getting the direct value or the raw data it is referencing to some conditions or some other variables right yes so over here expressions are evaluated to a single value means this y is evaluated to single value and x is having a single value that is 5 but it is not uh, directly giving y is equal to 5 so if y is equals to 5 then it is a literal right but at this instant it is a indirect right so it is expression clear to all of you yes now we'll see how do we reinitialize a variable okay first we'll see this stuff in action into our eclipse then we'll move to this one okay yes so previously we in our previous videos we learned this program right but today we'll just create another class for variable right and am i supposed to clear create the main method yes because the program will start it execution inside this block right so for example i'll create a variable a so what is the syntax for creating a variable we need to give a type to it right the type then the name then the literal or expression any one of them right so over here i'll just give a type as int 
you don't have to worry about what is int in our next video we'll be covering all the data types that is in short care so don't worry about this for now i'm just giving it as a type of int so for now int means just an integer okay so i'll just give like int a and i'll just give a literal value that is int a is equals to 5 and i can also give int b is equals to 6 int c is equals to a okay so now at this instance the sixth line sorry fifth line fifth line it is stating a is equals to 5 so is this value direct or indirect direct right so it is direct so it is a literal or expression it is literal right so what about mm -hmm. what about this line it is b is equals to 6 so is it a direct or indirect it is direct so is it a literal or expression it is also a literal right and the line 7th seven, seventh line c is equals to a right so is it direct or indirect it is indirectly means it is getting a value of a so this is an expression right so clear the difference between the literal and expression right any doubts you can ask me okay so over here we now what we'll do we'll just print the value of them okay yes i'll just say system dot out dot print ln and i'll say print a so we'll say the value of a is now see over here inside this curly braces sorry inside this uh, double quotes whatever i say it will get printed right but in the exact word what i have given right it, over here a won't get b means a will not get the reference of this a right because i have give the thing inside the double quotes means the double quotes means says that it will say that whatever is written inside this double quote just print it as it is okay so now you want to join the value of a after this so you can just use the plus operator to concat this okay so now the value of a is now you can give a so now this a is not inside the double quotes right so it will search for a variable inside this class itself or you can say oh, for now in, inside this method okay so is there any variable named as a okay it is there right at the line fifth but what if it is not there like a b is there any variable like a b no then it will give us an error see a b cannot be resolved to a variable because a b is not present anywhere inside this class right so it will give us an error but if there is any variable like a then it will say that okay no error now if i just print this it will say the value of a is 5 right now i'll just copy this line and we'll just print the value of all of them okay value of b value of c value of p and value of c so now see the value of b is 6 value of c is 5 what if i give uh, remove the ln over here we'll see it in a sequential manner at the line 9th okay so at the line 9th over here it will say that we yeah over here it will say that of the value of a is 5 and is there ln yes so move the cursor to the next line the value of b is the value of b is 6 okay is there ln over here no so cursor will remain here only right now it will print the value of c is 5 right so let's see this and we'll see the output for this see the value of c uh, value of c is 5 is being printed 
with the same line means uh, at the with the same that is this output right the value of b is 5 sorry 6 and then the value of c is 5 at the same line because there is no ln but after printing this the cursor will move to the next line right so now the cursor will be over here right uh, yes and uh, if i don't do this then cursor will remain over here only right it won't go below that right see the cursor is over here if i just click it over here there is no cursor over here so clear everyone yeah so over here we like created three variable and the type is uh, for now we just gave the constant type that is int 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 we'll see what is the type okay what are these data types so we give the variable name as a b c and then we give them a value the first and the second are literal value right the exact value the raw data but the third one is referencing to another one right means if the value of a changes to 50 then the value of c will also change right so clear to everyone yes now in our previous session we just missed one thing right we said that we'll learn what is case sensitivity in our next session right in the variable declaration so let's see this over here a is in a small right means in a small letters right now if i just give it as a now it is in a caps right so a is capital so both of them are different so it is not conflicting okay like this now if i just print this the value will be right that is 50 6 and a because a and a are treated as separate value they are not same okay because of the capitalization right means a is in small letter and b is caps right sorry this one is caps so clear so both of them are treated as different but what if i give both of them as same like a now it will give us an error okay now the error is duplicate local variable okay so you don't have to worry what are local variable it will be more clear when we move to the methods okay so over here a is giving us an error that duplicate variable but why the error is the means why do we get error what is the means what will happen if uh, two value means two variable with the same name are there so for example over here i am referencing to a now the compiler or we can say the interpreter may get confused that okay i have to reference to a variable a right but where is this a am i supposed to reference to this variable or am i supposed to reference to this variable so here the jvm can get confused right so that's the reason we cannot uh, declare duplicate variables in java okay and as we said that there it cannot be a reserved keyword right the class is a reserved keyword so it again gives us an error okay so clear to everyone yes so we saw the how do we declare a variable right yes so we saw how do we declare variables right now we'll see how do we reinitialize variable so what is reinitialization okay just let me just yeah so what is reinitialization it is nothing but reinitialize means with the word itself we can say that we are reinitializing means we want to assign a new value to a previous one for example over here we declared okay for example i declare a variable int a is equals to 5 the same okay in our example now i want to give the different value to a means i want to vary the value of a so for changing the value of a what is the syntax the variable name then the literal or expression okay just ignore this yes so you know what are literal right means the raw data right that is the direct value right and 
expression is referencing to someone that is indirect right so over here what is the syntax the variable name so what is the variable name a equals to literal or expression i can give b as well or i can give raw data like 55 or 556 five, right so both of them are correct right but we don't have to write int over here again because int is given means the type is given only at the time of declaration now i want to reinitialize the variable the type is already been defined so there is no need to again define the type okay so the type is only defined at the type of sorry at the time of declaration right but at the time of reinitialization it is not being written okay so we can directly give the variable name and can, we can give the value right so clear to everyone let's see this with example yes so we'll just fix this yeah so what will be the output yes so 50 6 and 50 right now i want to initialize the value of sorry reinitialize the value of b so what is the syntax variable name equals to then the raw data right for example like 100 yes now i again want to print the value of b okay so i just copy this see the value of b is 100 now the value is changed right so over here at the line we'll start with the execution like the jvm itself okay so jvm finds the main method okay there is a main method now at the line fifth it says that declare a variable okay variable name is a declared it to a value 50 great then in the next line it will say declare a variable b then declare a variable c and give them the values right so now at the line 9th now it will say print a line 10th print b print c right now it will move to the line 13th 13th line say that change the value of b to 100 means reinitialize previously b is equals to 6 right but now it will say that change this 6 to 100 now if i want to like print the value of b then it will say that the value of b is 100 right because 6 is overwritten as 100 right so for now b it means for this line we have changed the value of b right so the b is changed to 100 so the output will be 100 not 6 right because we are reinitializing it so clear now if i again want to reinitialize another variable or i can say i just want to reinitialize with respect to c so over here we are using the expression right yeah so again it has having the same value as c and c has having the same value as a because they are referencing each means a right means a is 50 b is 6 c is a so a is 50 right now we print this value a is 50 right then b is 6 right and c is 50 now i change the value of b to yes now b b's value is equals to the c's value right so what is the value of c value of c is 50 right because c is re referencing a and value of a is 50 right so now value of b and a and c value of all three is 50 so we will get the output as 50 for b as well for c as well and for a as well right yes so clear to everyone how do we reinitialize a variable so for now you won't be much clear about this what is this types so we'll uh, see what are the type in our next session when we cover data types okay so yes so variable are defined means classified into three types okay so the first one is instance variable second is static variable and third is local variable yes but we won't be covering these three topics 
today because if I just uh, cover this three topic today it will be very confusing for all of you because for this we need to learn objects then we need to learn methods and then only we can just uh, clarify means we can just get a clarity in all these three variable kinds so for now it's not we we'll, won't cover these three topics but we'll cover this at the right time means when we covered all the required topics then we'll cover this and it will be very much clear to all of you okay so clear to everyone any doubts yes so guys if you have any doubts you can just reach out to me on my gmail i have give in the description box and you can also comment your doubt in the comment section and if you like the video you know what to do thank you so much